I'm kind of surprised. The Brachiosaur doesn't seem to be chasing me. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, I'm thrilled. But... He does seem to be a little lost. Maybe we're on the edge of, like, killing him. And he's just disorientated and confused and aloft and just insane. I don't know. But just as a precautionary measure, I am going to take some of my more valuable stuff out of the old crate and transfer it into the one that's on land. Because, like, my Megalodon tooth, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that if, like, you know, my house gets destroyed. It'd be horrible. Stego, how is our glitch dino doing? You doing good? I think he's doing good. Let's just try to add a few more berries into his, uh, little thing. If we can find a purple berry. Oh, there we go. Three! Holy crap! All right, this might put it over the edge. It just might. Let's see. Three and two. And what you gonna do, Stego? You're so close. You're so close. Come on. Get up, Stego. Um. I don't know, maybe she needs another berry. Like, one more berry. She doesn't even know. Come on, eat one more berry. One more? It looks like it's... I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's complete. Right? That looks full to me. Stego? There we go! Tame and Stego. The Stegosaurus was approximately 16 pair rows of plates along its back, flanked by another smaller set of six plates. Thus, contrary to the altering rows of Stegosaurus fossils found in museums. I've encountered stegosauruses in a variety of amounts, almost everywhere on the island. Huh. And stegosaurus is, of course, a herbivore. So, stego, parasaur, some kind of fish. I don't know. I don't remember taming a fish. But, stego, I think your name should be stego. <laughs> it's short, it's simple, it's sweet, it's a little feminine. So, uh, yeah, it fits you. I believe. So, let's just make sure that, uh, following is enabled. See, that's, that's Spotty right there in front of us. And his wounds have healed. So, uh, I think his emotional ones as well are pretty good. I don't think he's going to be attacking us or our base anytime soon. So, we got lucky with that. I mean, it's not every day you can put, like, 20 arrows and slingshot 40 rocks at a creature and have them shrug it off. But in this case, the brontosaurus did. So, we should be grateful <laughs> that he didn't decide to destroy us all. Oh, you know what? I think Stego's stuck on this tree still, isn't he? Or she. Yeah, she's still stuck. Alright. Surgically removed splinter. Come on. There we go. Are you good, Stego? You ready to rock and roll? Um. Wow. That is something. Oh, and, and we're encumbered because of the poop. Well... That figures. It's it's the everyday shit that slows you down, right? Oh my god. Okay, get rid of that. And we should be good now, right? Oh, that rock kind of looked like a little like a T-Rex. Just the way it, it was shadowed. Kind of freaked me out just a little bit. I think we do have to destroy this one too. That is so weird! Like, that one is so far away from the other, 
And I think somehow Stego was hung up on both. It's odd. I'm honestly not sure if Stego's following us right now or not, but I want to get home. Just while it's dark. And, um, yeah. We'll worry about Stego in the morning, I guess. Hopefully, she doesn't die. Because that would suck. So, Stego is still down here on the beach. Um, she's still pooping away. And I think that I disabled her following. And that's what the issue was. So, let's go ahead, go back in, access inventory. We will throw some berries in there. Just to, I don't know, just to be nice. Make her a little bit more healthy, I suppose. I don't know. So, she should be good now. Yeah, enable following. That's what I want. Come on, Stego. We're going home. Yes! Finally. Just freaking finally, man. It only took how long? Oh, God, don't get hung up on another tree. Okay, she's good. She's good. And we are rocking it here on the island, man. Two tame dinosaurs. This is a monumental day, don't you think? I really like how all the carnivores seem to be on the other side of the island. It's like, I don't know, like they've been separated intentionally from each other. Maybe they have. I wouldn't think so, though. I, I, I was under the assumption that most of it was just totally randomized. But... Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just kind of whatever. And for whatever reason, we found a coast that has just all herbivores. And on the exact opposite side, right across the lake, we have all carnivores. Stego's like, I have no idea. This world is crazy. I just live in it. That's some good philosophy, Stego. So, we are making arrows, doing our thing. Um, I think we need to transfer some of our inventory over just a little bit. Um, let's see here. What can we do? Flint, probably, maybe. That's like three pounds. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe nothing right now. Let's just wait and see. Stego, I think it is vitally important that we move you, just strategically speaking, behind the wall, if possible. I know that I said that I was a little freaked out about you getting stabbed on the spikes, but if I park you up against this rock, I think you'll be good. So, let's go ahead and put you right... I guess right there. That's... no. You know what? Let's just bring you a little bit closer. There you go. There you go, buddy! How do you like that? Ah, she loves it. She's like, oh, I love my new home next to, like, this one torch. And all kinds of rock and no food. What's... what's going on? Oh my god! Oh, no! No, how... how did he get over here? Oh! Crap! There's two of them over here. They both crossed? Oh my god. This this could be a nightmare. Who will prevail in the battle of T-Rex versus the four brontosaurs? That's a really good question, you know? I mean, I don't know. But I'm here, I'm waiting. If one of them escapes, I will help the brontosaurus out and attack the T-Rex. Because I am brave like that. <laughs> uh, brave enough to sit on top of a mountain and fire at a helpless enemy below, right? 